Okay, YouTube, good morning. Today we are going to be making a no-sew tool roll for uh, some chisels that I have. You could use this for a, a knife roll. And basically we're going to be using these things here, pop rivets. In order to use pop rivets, you're going to need a pop rivet gun here. We'll go through how to use this uh, very quickly. There's lots of videos on YouTube. They are cheap. This one was on a, a Kijiji for $10. Rivets, you can get an bulk packages at your local hardware store. The key though for using it with soft materials, we're also going to need these uh, washers for rivets. These backings. We're going to need an awl. If you don't have an awl, you can use a nail to poke through material. A pair of scissors will help a whole lot. Uh, the actual materials we're using, we're going to use what's called shoe canvas. This was a square meter of it was less than five dollars Canadian and uh, we're going to use some uh, I guess two inch webbing for some reinforcement and of course we'll need the tools that we're going to custom fit. It's not absolutely essential but if you have an iron to help yourself out it's going to make life easier. Next we're going to lay out the tools that we want to custom fit. These could be chef's knives, they could be camping tools, they could be wrenches, doesn't really matter. And we're going to lay them out how we'd like them to be. On our bottom edge, we're going to put a fold in here. You can fold it with your fingers. You can go over it with an iron uh, to get a crisper line if you'd like. And then we're going to fold it again to the level that we want these to sit at. And I am looking for these just to fit. Uh, so touch of the red is sitting underneath. Next, I'm going to add a couple other folds. This one here is for the top of the tool roll. I want to fold down a little bit. So I'm going to just rough that in with my fingers. And it's going to fold down a little bit. And then I want to fold that edge in as well. Got that down. And then I'm going to do a rough fold here. Yeah. Oh. Technical difficulties there. Another low quality video with hopefully a higher quality idea. And we're going to flip the edge over here. Just fold that seam. Now that I've got all of my creases in there, I'm going to take my scissors, I've taken my tools out, and I'm going to rough cut this to the shape I'd like. Now that I've got my piece of shoe canvas roughly cut. Um, this is pretty rough and ready, but it's mostly for utility, so I'm not worried too much about uh, these edges here. doesn't matter to me. Um, there are other ways that you could do this if you want to make it look prettier, but today is for utility, and so there's one more measurement that I need to do before I start using the rivets, and that is taking my piece of two inch webbing, and I'm going to measure the length of the tool roll and then I'm going to cut it off right here. Excellent. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it up right in half. And I'm going to go over that several times. This here is going to be the piece at the bottom of the tool roll that's going to protect the canvas from being torn or sliced by the chisels. For demonstration purposes here, I've just made dots everywhere I'm going to put a rivet. These are all the main rivet points and I'm going to put them basically to fold the seam over along the edges to hold the pouch together and then I'm going to have it at the top here between the chisels. I don't need it for every one. And then down here, I'm going to put it at the bottom as well. So there's a little pocket here made of this webbing for the chisels to slide into. Now I'm going to take my awl and I'm going to pierce through both layers. This goes pretty easily with the awl. It could also be done with a nail. And we're going to do that everywhere there's going to be a rivet. Once I have my hole made with the awl, I take my rivet, push it through, take my back plate, slide it over. And then I take my rivet gun and I slide it over the shank and I start to pump one 
probably take two or three. You hear that pop? That's why it's a pop rivet gun. And it is in place. This back plate stops it from sliding through the canvas. And then I repeat throughout for my other rivets. Once the rivets are in, we're pretty well done. I've just taken a scrap piece of canvas to tie this off. And we've got our tool roll right here. <coughs> so it's pretty rough and ready, but it works uh, better than the rag I had my tools in before. For the materials, probably cost about $12 total. Um, and I've only made one now, but I have leftovers that I could get two or three other ones out of. Now, it's not perfect, but it works. If you sew all the power to you, that's awesome. Um, this was quick and easy to do, and uh, 20 minutes later, $12 later, I am uh, better off than when I started. If I wanted to improve this a little bit, um, you can find tutorials on how to wax your canvas, uh, putting paraffin or something like that on there, and then there's ways to heat treat it so it becomes more resilient. One thing I learned here, and I'd done this once before, I don't remember how I did it, this protection, I probably put it on the outside. Uh, it might tear the canvas, but these chisels aren't necessarily fitting in that pocket as well as I'd like. There's other ways you can do this no so There's a, a, a glue that you can use. Um, check out the playlist, and I think you'll find a, a link in there. Hopefully someone finds this useful. If not, at least I've got my chisels put away.